Happy Monday, folks. Pastor Joe here, uh, coming to you with a little devotional. I turned on the news this morning and watched some of the reports of um, the fires that continue to rage in the west of the United States, and it sparked for me, no pun intended there, a, a reminder of Paul's words in Romans about how the whole of creation is groaning and um, yeah it just it it seems so wild to uh, be able to flip on the news and and look at what's going on and literally see the world on fire um, feels very on brand for 2020 and in the midst of this you know we we're, we're, we're focused on um, Racial justice issues are in the spotlight, and, and the global pandemic continues to be very much a focus. Um, and and as this is all going on, there are yet still voices that are clamoring about issues of ecological justice, about naming how um, the more extreme weather patterns that we're seeing, that that's tied to um, climate change, which, which humanity has uh, certainly an impact on. And... It, for myself, I'm someone who has a great heart uh, for creation and for the way that I feel God is calling us to be good stewards of creation. Uh, there's a phrase that I heard once that it's, it's not that we inherit the earth from those who've come before us, but we just gently hold it for those who are coming after us, that we steward it for those who are coming after us. Um, that we have it on loan from those who are coming after us. And, and sometimes you would never know that, or you, you that, that type of a thought would never enter your mind from the way in which um, there are some prominent Christian voices that, that downplay the effects that humanity has on the earth, that downplay the significance uh, of the earth, focusing instead their thoughts on the life that is to come after this one. Um, some that even see hurrying ecological destruction as one way to speed um, some kind of end times where Jesus comes back and, and then everything changes. Um, and that just, that for me, like the, it just really rubs me the wrong way because it seems like such an abuse of the Christian theology, to take something which God's word so clearly speaks to God's care and compassion for, you know, that we hear throughout scripture in Genesis, when God creates the world and calls it good. Um, later on uh, in Luke and Matthew, when Jesus is talking about how, you know, not even sparrows fall from the sky without the his heavenly fathers knowing and caring for them you know we we hear on and on throughout scripture reminders about how god cares not just for humanity but for the world that we exist in for all of the animals that are here too and that we have been have been entrusted with this sacred responsibility to be stewards, to be God's hands and feet uh, in this world, and to care for it as God um, has called us to. And again, um, those those naming those things, naming both our um, the way in which the world is on fire, and also this responsibility, this this sacred trust that we have to care for it, um, can leave us feeling, can leave me feeling certainly. Um, very much caught in the pull of, of shoulds and oughts and legalism and uh, shame, failure and, and frustration, all of this kind of negative junk. And so the, the thing that I wanted to speak to you today to offer as a, as a voice of good news in the midst of that is to remind you, dear people, that that in the midst of the shoulds and the oughts and the, the challenges that we see around us, whether it's ecological justice or other, other things that have grabbed your heart, other holy discontents that 
um, you are on the prongs of and that you feel called to, to work and act and, and move in the midst of is to name for you that one of the other promises that we hear in Scripture over and over and over again is the way in which God takes what we offer and what we do and can do things beyond our wildest uh, imaginings with our offerings of service. You know, just grabbing again a few different examples, the story of the walls of Jericho tumbling down just from God's people marching around and, and playing trumpets, or, you know, Jonah uh, coming and doing a little bit of lukewarm preaching at the edge of the city of Nineveh, and the whole city uh, repents, and there's this massive transformation within the community. Or even um, the example, one of the one of the examples we hear in the Gospels, where Jesus uh, takes the the few, handful of loaves and fishes and feeds the multitudes. You know that that we hear again and again and again throughout Scripture that when we trust. God, when we, when we act, when we allow ourselves to be God's agents of transformation in this world, that amazing things can happen. And so may you, dear people, feel strengthened and sustained and emboldened to, to be God's hands and feet in this world, to work for changes that might seem beyond our capacity to bring about, and yet May you strive for those changes, knowing that they are worth this the striving, knowing that they are worth the effort, that it is worth being a part of this ministry of, of new life and change and transformation that God is continuing to be about in this world in which we live. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day that you have made, for the gift of your creation, which you have entrusted to our care. Help us to be good stewards, both of the earth, but also of one another. Stir up our hearts, that our hearts might long for the type of justice that you reveal to us in your word. Care for the vulnerable, opposing those who thrive on corruption or deception, working for the benefit of all people. God, we, we stare down some mighty challenges uh, at, at work in the world around us, and yet we know that you are greater than the storm, that you are with us here now in this very moment, that you walk with us through the difficult times of life, the seasons of disruption. And so may you help us to feel your presence with us. Help us to know your peace, even as we continue to be about this holy struggle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me, folks. Uh, take care, and we'll see you down the road apace.